um, uh, any concerns about peaceful protesters being tear gassed, moved out of the way at the White House last night? I have concerns about what we're seeing all across the country. We're seeing rioting in cities all across our nation. And let me be clear, everyone has a right to speak. You have a right to speak peaceably and exercise the First Amendment. What you don't have a right to do is engage in violence. What you don't have a right to do is loot stores. What you don't have a right to do is shatter store windows. What you don't have a right to do is light police cars on fire. And the violence and the terrorism we're seeing across the country is unacceptable. It is wrong, and it is incumbent on leaders across the country, the president and the attorney general, but also governors and mayors and police chiefs, to protect the American people and stop this rioting now. So the president no is offering rioting. to send the military into various states. Is that something you'd welcome in Texas? Uh, let's be clear. There is a long history of the military being used to put down violent acts of terrorism. That's not the first line of defense. The first line of defense typically are police officers. The next line of defense typically are the National Guard. You should nat naturally go through both of those. But let me say something also. These Antifa protesters that are organizing these acts of terror, among other things, they are behaving in a profoundly racist manner. Listen, everyone agrees what happened to George Floyd was horrific. It was police brutality. And we are united in be rightly believing that the officers involved should face criminal prosecution. They are facing criminal prosecution for breaking the law. And yet you're seeing Antifa protesters deciding to abuse and take advantage of this crisis to wrongly paint the peaceful protesters as being violent. Every time you see some young Antifa terrorist showing up to scrawl graffiti, uh, attacking police officers on the side of a police car or shattering windows, they are behaving like bigots. And we ought to stand united and strong in protecting the safety of American citizens, protecting the safety of police officers, protecting the safety of Americans of every race, African-American, Hispanic, white, across the board. We need to be protecting our homes. We need to protect, be protecting our family. And we need to be protecting our small businesses. And i got to say, these Democratic politicians that are treating this as an excuse for partisan politics is really unfortunate. A lot of these authoritarians at the local level were quick to send in the police to arrest a dad for playing softball with his six-year-old daughter or to try to shut down a church that was daring to worship. But when you have violent protesters engage in, in physical assaults, too many Democratic politicians are playing politics and allowing the riots to play forward. When you see a city council member in Minneapolis saying he supports Antifa, while Antifa is literally burning the city to the ground. It is wrong, and I am glad the president yesterday led by going to St. John's Church, an historic church in our capital city that was firebombed by terrorists. And it was important for the president to be there and say, we will not be cowed by terrorists. We will stand up. If you, all of us have a First Amendment right to speak, but you don't have a right to burn a church.